What about me, Dana? You've hurt me a million times. Please stop. It's just, I mean, I'm not even saying nothing in this, on this right now. Do you know how many times you've hurt me? You, nobody cares how much you've been hurt. Okay, let me explain something to you. Let me tell you this so you can understand it. Okay, everything is not about you, Dana. Okay, everybody has a sad story, including me. You know what? You just don't know it because I don't go around telling my whole life story like I need to put it out there for the whole world to hear or need somebody to tell me that my I need, you know, whatever it is that I'm not getting from something, I think I'm going to get from explaining my life. I just don't let that crap define me. And I certainly wouldn't go on YouTube where you don't know anybody and tell my business, but you do. So stop talking about how hurt you are. Everybody hurts. Everything is not about you. And that's what I can't stand about you. All you ever talk about is how things affect you. And you know what? Everybody cares about how things affect them, not you. You're nobody to everybody. And that's everybody on here. None of us will probably ever meet. Are you going to like come and hold me when I feel bad? No. Stop telling everybody about how bad you feel. If you feel that bad, then get off YouTube. But everybody feels bad. Everybody else just deals with what they deal with. You make your issues everybody else's issues. Dana, if you feel harassed in this chat, then you need to leave. You're not welcome in here. That's simple to see. You're 56 years old. You say you have three grown children. When is it going to stop being about you and how mommy didn't love you enough and you were the youngest of all your brothers and sisters? I mean, are you kidding me? When do you grow up? Yep, that's true, Pebbles. That's true. Well, sadly, Pebbles, the only person that really matters on YouTube is Dana. I mean, and all the pain that she goes through. Because, you know, the rest of us and, and what we go through doesn't matter. So... Dana, why don't you get out of here and leave everybody alone and go find some place where you feel good about yourself and stop talking about everybody else and trying to get like some, you know, thug warfare going where people attack other people. Because aren't you a therapist? Aren't you supposed to help people? I heard you call Amelia stupid last night. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I don't know. Is that in the DSM? I don't ever talk about her. That's the truth. I go into rooms, everybody else is talking about her. I went into Nary's. I'm not making personal attacks on you. And I would like you to stop making those kind of comments, okay? Because if you don't come poke the bear, I don't do anything. Stop going around 
and involving yourself in stuff and getting in trouble and fighting with people and try to be a nice person again like you were when you first came on the scene. And, you know, I don't know. It's even possible that we might like each other. Imagine that. And I know that's hard for you to believe, but I'm really not an unkind, bad person. That's a lie. That is a lie. That's a lie. I think you assume that, but that's a lie. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. You leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. Dana, just leave. Every time I say I can't take any more, you just keep on and on. Then you send me messages on my phone, just stop, go away. I'm not going to deal with her. She won't quit talking about nobody. She's been talking about me for a long time. Well, I'm really tired of talking about her, to be I perfectly honest. Free. You don't have to worry about Nice's free. They're blocked. I've had to block them before over something else. I mean, this is not what I came up here. I came up here, you know, to show you guys my hair. She comes in and here. And suddenly I'm, here. I'm on the hot plate. And I didn't come up here to fight with anybody. I don't want to fight with anybody. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to pretend, you know, and ignore. She's just trying you to know, any because of this not. Listen, she's just calling a truce because she's afraid you're going to turn her in for something. That is it. Dana is always for Dana. I swear. Oh, absolutely. That. Well, you know, you know, my advice is um, you have to live with what you've done. Okay. Whatever it is. And if people make parodies of you, if they make, listen, I'm on those videos. I sound just as crazy. If you didn't know me, and you could you could think this i don't care what do i care but if you don't want things made about you then stop giving people content stop giving them ammunition i mean that's long and short of it and and i don't know why you do it but you do it constantly and you should stop i'm not doing it I've never made any video about you ever about anything. You made two about me, two, two. And you know, everybody was in here just having a nice conversation. And now you're, you know, coming here and, and putting the kibosh on that just cause I don't know, maybe you're not having a good evening but you could just come in and, and be nice and chat but you don't you come in and order people around and tell them to do this and tell them to do that and you need to do that or thank you or um you know you're going to do this or whatever and what do you think you think that doesn't put people on the defensive you know we're not children you know I, I'm a grown woman. You're not going to order me around. You want to play hardball? Dana, come up here and let me hear you because I don't think you're hurt. 
I just don't believe it. Don't believe you're Anna, you come up. I'll go down because I know oh, you're going to be up here with me. So I'm going to leave. No, I'm not staying up here with it. 